Right, so, so here I am. I'm on a lovely sandy beach. It's actually Elliot Beach uh, uh, by Arbroath. Uh, it's been about a year or more since I actually fished this. So, living in hope of catching something decent around here. A pot, main catch will probably be flounders, but you also get turbo, you get place, you get. I've seen bass caught up here. Uh, just along a bit, Bailey, Bailey's nightclub. Uh, a lot of people fish over there, and I've had dog fish over there, so if you get them over there, which is about half a mile away, you'll get them here. So there's always that chance, and there's a whole variety of other species kicking around. And the mackerel are also kicking around various harbours and that, so they may get one of them in the passing, or two of them in the passing, that'd be something good. But uh, this beach is lovely, it's sand, it's sort of flat. Uh, I'll give you a show around and I'll show you a couple of problems. Uh, but uh, as for now, let's go on with the beach. And today, it's mackerel. Blue. Found that in the bottom of the freezer. Squid. <laughs> Some lovely lugworm that I got yesterday. Some nice little ragworm that I got yesterday too. So that's the bait. I, I would normally fish this uh, two hook one oar rig, but uh, I'm actually fishing the three. The third hook basically just below the weight. Well, you can call it two up, one down, whatever. Three hook pattern or still two hook, two up, one down, similar sort of thing. But uh, one, the two upper hooks have got one oar hooks on them. The lower one is a uh, size two uh, long shank. So if there's anything flat on the bottom, hopefully I'll get it. So, and as I say, it's a lovely day, the sun is shining, very few clouds in the sky. I'm hoping it stays that way, but I've got my waterproofs. <laughs> you just never know. Uh, so we'll get baited up, we'll get cast out, and I'll also give you a look round. Uh, I can, yeah, I think I've made uh, a video before from here. One was with the uh, fishing forum. Uh, raising funds for the RNLI and the last time was with the uh, other mate Sean and got a couple of turbo. So hopefully I'll have the same kind of luck today. Uh, so let's get on, let's get baited up, let's get in the water and let's get a look around and let's get coffee. Right, that's us baited up. On the top hook I've put bluey, middle hook I've put mackerel and the bottom hook I've got lugworm on one and ragworm on the other. I did have two ragworm, but I squashed one out of existence. <laughs> right, so let's get this gear in the water. Right, so that's us in the water, living in hope of fishies. So, uh, I'll get a, get a quick look round. 
and then get a coffee and sit down and watch the fish coming. Yes! <coughs> In the background there you can see a uh, arbroath. It's more, more famously known for fishing, for rock fishing. This side of our broth is Sandy Beach. The other side of, you see that uh, extension of land out there, beyond, uh, around that area is all rocks and it's uh, well known for cod. Same with the Arbroath Harbour. There's Arbroath over there. There's a lot of shops, a lot, a lot of bits and pieces, chip shops, everything. Everything's in there you need. I'm not sure about a taco shop, there used to be one in there, I don't know if it's still there. I never stop in the place, I drive through it to go to other places. Like a lot of places I visit. I say, oh I've been there, I've been there. Yeah, I've been through it, I don't actually visit them. And as you can see, this is a beach. This is runners. Better if I take it over here. That's better. Right. Here you see where I'm fishing. It's just all sand. It's sand quite a, quite a bit out. But as you can see, just out there, there's actually seaweed showing just above the water. So, and a lot of creels. So it's kind of rough out there. Uh, but um, I don't think I'll be casting into all that. I'll just cast round about it where possible. And here we go, there's a beach. And just over that hill, beyond that blue tent, is a golf course. And it just goes on and on and on until you get down to that point there and then it's rocky. Uh, there's not too many problems here except when you're fishing, watch behind you. Because the, the dips here in the sand, and they fill up with water, they fill up with water, uh, they're deep, deep holes. You've always to be aware of what's at the back, you never mind what's in front of you. I've uh, nearly been caught with that one before. And another problem is uh, dogs. I have nothing against dogs, I have nothing against dog owners, but when the dogs come up and eat my bait, that is when I'm not really from the man's best friend. <laughs> I try and explain it, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's not going to get me fishing the rest of the day, you've just eaten all my bait. Yeah, my dog's always under control. Yep, I've heard that before. So here we are. Should have brought suntan oil. Where is that suntan? That's it. That's a nice look round. And they will get back to the fishing. Well, well, I'll get back to my coffee. Well, I'll get my coffee to start with. <laughs> Well, there we go. First fish. Nice lot of flounder. Yep. 
just start. Well, that's about uh, five, ten minutes after low tide. Uh, so far I've had one little flounder which was caught about ten minutes ago. But uh, apart from that, it's been kind of quiet. Apart from a snap off I had, got that sorted, cast out and got an almighty bird's nest. So and that was a rod out of action for about 20 minutes so I sorted out that bird's nest. That was unbelievable. So that's, that's new day of a line I'm using. Uh, it's meant to be £15, it's thinner than normal line, so you get more of it on your reel. But I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and... I say the knot strength is worthless. It's, uh, I've had quite a few snap-offs, lost a few bits of gear through it as well, so... I think I'll be changing my line. But I've not got the other stuff I'm to change it with, so... I'll use it today, but uh, when I get home I'll get that ripped off. I'm not using that crap. So, I've nothing against the other line, I use it all the time, but that particular stuff, no. So, the sun's still out and the tide is now turning and it, sh it will rush on this beach. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'll still be around here or way up there the next time you see me. Let's hope I'm still around here with more fish. But, uh, there we go. So, we'll keep at it and hopefully get a few, mo a few more things on the go. It's a wee while since I had any fish and it looks like they've come, come back to life again. One flounder. Two flounder. Nice pair of flounder. That isn't exactly what I was hoping for. Let's go one claw. <laughs> okay, well that's uh, half tide, and as you can see, we're quite way up the beach now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fairly rusty time when it comes in. <coughs> but uh, as it, as the fishing goes. Three wee flounders and a crab. Fantastic. No, I was expecting better, like, but uh, maybe up to maybe the next quarter up to the high tide, just over. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but not not as good as I thought. But there you go. That's fishing for you. you can't catch fish all the time. And there seems to be a lack of them. Well, I found there seems to be a lack of fish around just now, I don't know why. But, uh, there you go. We'll keep at it and keep hammering away. And hopefully, something will come around. I should have brought my boat when we went up in that boat and got on a boat. I might, I might have got something out there. I've never done that yet. Video for a boat. Ah. Take a bit of doing late, but uh, yeah, there's an idea.
at long last another flounder. Nice. Oh, big size of them. You're getting smaller again, but at least it's a thing. Looks like a place, it's dotted like a place, but it feels like a plunder. Another one. They're getting smaller. I don't know. That line just snapped again. Oh, nothing. Oh, I think maybe some of it is. Well, that's high tide. And I don't know how far. Six flounder, a crab. Don't forget the crab. <laughs> but apart from that, it's been rather quiet. Uh, not a lot happening. So. I'll give it another hour or so. I'll tell you the temperature's dropped. Stuck here. Seven is cold. The sun's gone out. It's blue sky, but the sun's under other clouds. So we'll keep, keep at it for about another hour or so. And then we can hey, see what happens. Hopefully I'll get another fight. But uh yeah, well. Such is life and such is fishing. Another little plunger. It's still there anyway. I wish it was bigger.
not one of me I would be up place. Okay, check it. But it doesn't look like it. good, good stuff. Flinders are hit to dust. There we go. Uh, Doesn't look bad to do. We'll start out, I thought it would be bad, but uh, something not bad. <coughs> well, that's it. That's uh, five o'clock, that's about an hour after high tide. And uh, had 99 flounder. Not big, but uh, at least they were there. We have caught something. Uh, I was a bit worried about that. It did start with, but uh, we made it through. And the wind's picked up a bit here. We've blown off the water there. Uh, 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 they were all caught with ragworm as well. Unusual, because normally you get them on Maki, but uh, ragworm was the bait for today. So, just shows you. You need to have various baits because you never know which one will be the best for the day. And, uh, I hope you enjoy watching this and I'm cold. <laughs> and, uh, hope to see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy this. Bye. Tight lights.